we have upgraded this Land Rover series with an electric power steering. As you can see, this improvement is very discreet into the engine bay. The only differences are the dust cover that protects the steering column as well as the anchors of the system to the bolt head. In the passenger compartment we find again the fastening screws to the bolt head as well as the plate that secures the entire system. In this image we can see how the entire system is perfectly adjusted inside the dashboard. Also, inside the dashboard, we can place the power supply ECU. This aluminum part keeps the housing of the steering column secure. Prior to the installation, we must process the steering column. Here we can see the steering column once removed from the box and the housing. At this point we have to make two cuts. At the end of these cuts we will weld the couplings. Depending on the diameter of the column we must also weld the diameter adapters which are supplied with the set. The function of the couplings is to transmit the movement between the steering wheel and the steering column through the motor. This is the final result of the lower part. Each model requires that the column cutting must be made to a certain length. The quality of the welding on the steering column is critical, so it must be perfect. It is important to use TIG welding. Thanks to the torque sensors that are integrated into the motor, both the force applied to the steering wheel and the resistance to rotation will be measured. With this information, the ECU will calculate how much power is requested to achieve an optimal assistance on every motor.